Back with a sports story. I've been looking forward to this one. After owning the spotlight this year, Israel's under-20 soccer team, well, they need to make room for the country's under-21 national team after they defeated Georgia, the country of Georgia, Saturday evening in a nail-biter overtime shootout, winning 4-3 to three to advance to the European Championship semifinals. That's for the first time ever at this level. Now, Team Israel will take on the winner of today's Portugal-England match. We will meet on the pitch Wednesday, seeking that spot in the final. But again, we're talking about unprecedented success for Israeli soccer this year at any level. Now, this is the under-20 squad, came in second in the Euro, and the, I believe it was the third at the under-20 World Cup. Now, it's the under-21s team, team's turn, that is, for glory as they step into the spotlight. And we're joined, special guest in the studio, our correspondent, Jonathan Regev, but also we're joined by Mordechai Motzelet Spiegler, former Israeli footballer, manager, second all-time national team goal-scoring list, I have to say that as well, it's until 2021, as recently as that, Iran Zahavi, uh, jumping out front, uh, and, and so many other things. Thanks, Motelet. Thanks for being back in the studio with us. Thank you. Uh, look, I want to just get your impression first. What appears to be happening with Israeli national youth you know, soccer? Is there a new recruitment process? Is there new training? Is there something special in the water? What is it? Taking, carrying these kids to the top? Everything level? you say is just precise. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do many years ago, and it's done only the last two or three years, oh. it gives already results. So it's not me to sitting here to tell stories, to talk about the past. Whatever you mentioned precisely, I can only sign, or if you want, I'll show you the conductor <laughs> uh, uh, story. Uh, talent yeah. was there always. Mm -hmm. Our problem since years, and I spoke until the day I understood that it's enough to speak. You have to bring the talent for the best of the team, of the national team. Mm -hmm. And so when you play tennis on the squad. one against one, it's either you win, either I lose. Same thing. When we play two against two, it's already a team. Football, it's a teamwork. And the last few months, under 20, under 21, they all, all, I say they all, starting with the coaches, with the people around, and especially the players. They bring the talent for the good of the team. Cool. It doesn't matter who scores, it doesn't matter who is saving. We are together. And then results come. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm very happy and I say, now please don't compare with the very far past. Well, it's not it's, important. It's hard not to, and I, I will. We <laughs> will compare what happened now with what happened before yesterday, okay. and we will think and prepare the semifinal and maybe the final. Okay, I, I mean, John, he knows at, more than. I, I mean, we talked all about the under twenty, you know, team here. This incredible run that they had in multiple two tournaments here this year. What are the connections? I mean, do these teams overlap somewhat? I mean, are they totally separate entities? I mean, where does that fit the under twenty, the under twenty one squad? They're not separate entities. Uh, uh, there's a, a, an outrage in the under twenty team because when they had to play the, the match for the third place, five players were actually allocated. They were taken away from taken the away. team okay. to join the under twenty one team because let's remember that was played in Argentina they had to come back to Israel get used to the jet lag and go to Georgia to, uh, with the team so so yes many many of the players I think that five players if I remember correctly five players in this under 21 team were also in Argentina in the under 20 team look for success they have to stick together as, as a group and, and go on together uh, uh, to the, the, the senior level, the national team level. Uh, we're enjoying a lot, I think all of us here, the, the, the success of the younger teams, the under 20, the under 21. In between, there were two games of the Israel official team, the national team. Israel, we have to say, won both games, but the, the performance was, I think you'll agree with me, uh, under par, no, the team was not a happy team, as opposed to the younger teams. That's exciting and, watching and, these kids. And, right. and, and that's, that's exactly what I think should be brought to the, the, the older team. Expectations, the, the <laughs> team. Ah, yeah. too high. Yeah, the, the pressure. The yeah. national team, and, and you know what? I would rather have a team lose 4-3 than win 1-0. Let, let's yeah. put it this way. So, so bring, bring a little more. Uh, the, the younger players, I think if they stick as a group and come together to the older teams as a group, then I think they can succeed. And one more thing I said here in the studio various times when we spoke of the under-20 under team, let them 
play. They have to play in their teams uh, all the time. Not bring foreigners, which may be uh, perhaps a little bit better, and they play instead of these really younger <laughs> players. Let them I can say play. It. Bring, bring foreigners, let the young players play. <laughs> it's, even, play. it's even a better combination. <laughs> Look, I, I have to, you say, you know, let's not look at the past. I have to draw some comparisons to the past. Yes. And I get this right here. Look, in the late 60s for Israel, you had 15 international goals just in 1968. So uh, this was a hot period for, for young Israeli soccer. You, you know, of course, carry the team to the only national, uh, that national birth in the World Cup, 1970 in Mexico, scored our only goal, by the way. Are you seeing similarities today to the rise of youth today? They're starting to win all these international tournaments, or win or coming close, they're starting to be very competitive. Uh, will this group of youngsters possibly get Israel back to the World Cup this decade? No question. For me, no question. I always, when I'm talking about my dreams, it was to be a professional footballer. Today they are professional when they are the age of my grandson, 10, 12. They, they're already training four or five times a week. It's unbelievable. When I was selected to the national team 1962 and first success for Israel, and the only one until now was not the World Cup. Okay. We won the Asian Cup, right. and I was 19 and a half, even not 20, so I could play yesterday, <laughs> but I'm not good enough. <laughs> and this is something which we don't talk about it because the World Cup, of yeah. course the World Cup, to meet Italy, Uruguay, and Sweden, and to come home. As, as we said, we came home safety, but we did not really achieve anything until now. Okay. Success of being the second best or, or one before the last, this is not enough. A bad loser will never be a good winner. And until now, what my young man said here, it's I prefer to lose one zero than to win for three or the the yeah. other way, I prefer to win 4-3 and, <laughs> let, and, let, and, let, and let, let the others be in the, in the studios explain why they could not. But we cannot always win. Now, success is here. We can put the flag, but nobody is, is offering us anything, promising anything. <laughs> Now we have to face England or Portugal no. at the final, it will be spots. France or whatever. But we are there. We are. We are. To be between the last four. Good luck, Israel. Motele Spiegler. Jonathan Regev, Jonathan Regev, thanks for being with us. And of course, I have to say, you played along Pelé in 1975 on the Cosmos as well. It's a pleasure to have you in the studio. It's an honor to have you every time. Uh, we feel the, the, the soccer pleasure. wisdom coming from you. So thanks for joining us here. Thank you. And of course, go Team Israel, under 21.